23, um, different ball game. We've got unlike common denominators. Here they were the same. Here they are different. So what we've got to do is we have to do exactly what we used to do in elementary school, is make sure that they have a common denominator. But in Algebra 2, it's a little different. Um, these guys are separate factors. So um, if this guy is an x plus 5, he needs the x plus 1. This guy needs the x plus 5. So what we've got to do is we've got to give it to them. Okay. Now um, we're going to give the 4 an x plus 1. And I'm going to write this out like this this time. And we're going to give this guy, this x plus 1, also an x plus 5. Okay. Now notice what we did there. It's a trick, right? Because these guys actually cancel out, but we don't want them to cancel out. We put them there on purpose so that we can merge the two fractions together. Without the similarities, um, we cannot merge these fractions. So with that then, what we've got is we have um, an opportunity to essentially, and we're going to make this a plus and make that a negative 2 so that we distribute the negative sign. And we're going to go ahead and do 4x plus 4. Now I'm going to distribute here. I'm going to distribute here. Okay. And then we got this guy here. Okay. Now maybe an x plus 1 or an x plus 5 could cancel out. Um, we'll see. Um, let's just see. Um, what we do when we combine these guys, we get a 2x, and then that's minus 6. All right, if I took the f uh, 2 out, that'd be x minus 3. And in the denominator is just x plus 1, x plus 5. Um, that's it. Okay, so we were able to con uh, distribute so that we could combine and then factor out something different. Okay? And none of those cancel out, so that is your final answer. Okay, 24, same thing. It's just that um, this is a this is addition. All right. And so what we've got to do is we've got to give this guy an x, an a plus four, and give this guy the a minus two. Okay. I'm just squeezing them in there because I was a little bit more careful in the last problem. Now I'm not going to be. So now I'm going to distribute those guys um, in just a second. But let's write this a plus 4, a minus 2 in the denominator. Okay. All right, now they're going to merge. Okay. So now 3a times a is just 3a squared. And then that would be minus 6a. And then 2 times a is just 2a. And then 2 times 4 is just 8. So let's merge those. 3a squared uh, minus 4a plus 8 over a plus 4, a minus 2. Um, the only thing that we've got to do is possibly we might have factors of 24 that add up to negative 4. Highly unlikely, but it is possible. Let's think. We got 12 and 2. That won't work. 6 and 4 won't work. 8 and 3 won't work. And that does it. Okay, that's it. We're all done. Okay? Uh, okay, so now we're solving. This is a little different. Um, just a little, a little addition, a little extra something that's got to be done. Right, a little something extra. So let's just look and see what kind of common denominator we can create. It looks like the largest one, the greatest common multiple, is this guy. So if I give him an n, and if I give him a 3, then I, they'll all match at a 3n squared. Okay. So let's give this guy a 3. Uh, he doesn't need anything, but he definitely needs an n. Okay. Now, giving him an extra n will then produce a n squared. So now they all got the same thing. When they all have the same thing, I get to do this really cool thing. All 
All right, and I just I combine those two together, but this guy's on the other side. But since they all have the same thing, I can literally just ignore it now. They're all balanced. And so what I can do is just focus on distributing like we did back in Algebra 1 or even pre-algebra. Okay, distribute the 3, and we got plus 1. We're going to equal 5n. So we got 3n plus 16 equals 5n. I'm just going to move the n over to the other side. We get 16 equals 2n divided by 2. We get 8 to make sure it works. Is 8 going to cause any problems here? Nope, 64, 64 times 3, okay. Nope, we're good. So 8 checks out. That would be your final answer. Now over here, uh, same thing. It looks like these guys match, so that's cool. But this guy, if I just gave him a 3, then we would be all set. So let's go 4 equals um, 3, 4m plus 16. Now what I'm doing here is I know that all this guy needs is a 3, and then it would be all equal to each other. So I would just ignore it. Now just keep watch out for an m equaling 0, because if I put in a 0 here, I'd be dividing my 0, and that is un... Um, I can't do it. Okay, That would be an extraneous solution. All right, so 4 equals 12m, uh, then 3 times, that's 6, uh, nope, that's 48, and then that's 1. So 4 equals 12m plus 49. We're going to go, uh, let's see, did I do that right? I hope I did, I hope I did. Uh, Okay, well, uh, subtract 49, so negative 45. And so m equals negative 45 divided by 12. And um, I kind of just want to make sure that that is correct. Um, I want to make sure, because usually when I get fractions like that, I count kind of suspicious. And it um, looks like 3 will go into both of those, so that would be negative 15 over 4. Okay, and that is correct, actually. Okay.